there's a lot of stress, obviously, running for president. I think people could just, t even if you have never run for president, I think people could probably sense that. There's also a lot of stress sometimes if you're associated with, like, if you're a member of your family uh -huh. uh, is running for president. Because there's a lot of scrutiny. trauma or I, I, I don't stress. think that's exactly it. It's, it's just like, you know, your family's under a certain amount of scrutiny. You know, and maybe also, like, let's say your dad is running for president, and then all of a sudden, like, maybe you're going to lose your whole business future uh, because your dad is like, I got to, I'm, I'm, you know, that would freak me out. I mean, if I thought, let's put it this way. I don't know how old. Uh, let's say, I don't know. Let's say in my early 40s, right? And um, I'm thinking for a good 30 years of that, by the time I'm 10, I'm probably aware of like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inherit an empire. Right. Maybe I know this when I'm seven. I don't know. And then all of a sudden I get into my early 40s. Would you say the, this guy is? And all of a sudden it looks like, oh, wait a second. They're going to stop them, uh, stop my empire from operating in New York. This could just be the beginning. I'm freaking out. I, I would feel stress. And I might turn to, I don't know. Some, some seven day, like day. Seba day. Or maybe other stuff <gasps> to cope with it. And then God knows what would be happening. I don't know why this comes to mind, but here is Donald Trump Jr. on uh, his podcast um, saying this. Which, of course, we all know the name of. Yeah, what is the name of it? Tr uh, triggered. Well, that's Trump. his Oh, book Triggered, too. yes. <laughs> triggered, right. You know, this is the thing about, like, ironically named podcast. Every one of these, any, every ironically named podcast I have, where you sort of build in the critique on some level... Uh, turns out to be dead on. It turns yeah. out more often than not, my experience with these ironically named podcasts is that they are actually not ironic. Should he be operating a trigger in his condition? I, 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 I speaking about someone being triggered. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm actually a Duke of Hazard, uh, and I'm also a Kentucky Colonel, and I've, 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 I've a lot of friends out there uh, in the coal mining space and. Uh, I've gone, I think my son shot his first elk there, actually. I, I, I've done that hunt. It's actually a great hunt. It's really, really cool. The scenery is incredible. The people are awesome. Uh, you know, you usually think of elk as being further out west. Uh, but no, it, it, it's, that's a great hunt with great people. I've, I've had uh, a, a lot of good times there. Do you ever use a recurve bow? Actually, I use a recurve bow all the time. I was my, well, at least when I left New York. I haven't joined like a club here for Pause it. it. Uh, you know but what I get the sense about this is relatable? that he hasn't slept in 48 hours. <laughs> and in fact, actually, I would say like, it looks like he hasn't slept in, in 72 hours. And like, I mean, I've never had this exact experience, but like, I know, like I've had like some that are relatable and like, you're still taking whatever the drug was that kept you up for that amount of time. Allegedly. But it's, um, I'm talking about my experience. Oh yes. Uh, and uh, you're still taking that drug, but it's not having the same all it is is just making you be able to breathe yeah. at that point triggered more like crashing yeah <laughs> i should have recurved bo oh yeah yeah, yeah. so wait uh <laughs> <laughs> are you also a duke <laughs> I should, I should recurve, bo. he's a duke of hazard uh, i'm not surprised that he hasn't joined a club where where is he at in tennessee now or what miami montana, montana. Or he's in Montana. Yeah. He's in, he's in Montana. He, he lives in Montana. At least he, I think. Okay, he at least he at least spends a significant amount of time there. That's so interesting. Is, is like that join a club, buddy. Non income get tax state, or is that a state where you can shield your assets from perhaps? Uh, get amongst the locals, buddy. Okay, go, go join a club. This one of you has got to move to Montana because that's the one place where we can hide some of our assets. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, a, a lot of good times there. Do you ever use a recurve bow? Actually, I use a recurve bow all the time. I was my, well, at least when I left New York, I haven't joined like a club here for it. But when I left New York, I was my recurve and compound uh, local bow club champion. So I, I, I can do both. I spent a lot of time learning how to shoot a recurve slash longbow real well, like shooting, uh, shooting just bare bow. Uh, uh, okay. Um, is that English? I mean, like, what kind of content is? Who is this for? No, this is for hunting guys. I mean, those are different. It's it's okay. funny to. But do you need to be part of a club if you're out in Montana? Like, what? The, like, uh, to be honest, I think it is actually like. I Does don't he not have a piece of property where he can put up a, a target? Right, but that's not it. Like, I do think actually you should be. It's it's actually a sign against authenticity that he's not going and being part of a club to shoot this sort of thing because that's what bow hunters do. They're all in bow hunting clubs. They have archery tournaments. 
to, and and you can be a fancy guy and be part of those too but i think he's a little bit too elitist to join the montana uh recurve bow uh shooting archery thing i think like he's probably a little bit above those guys and i think maybe mm. a little bit more comfortable with less competition in the manhattan plus at the <laughs> plus at the clubs at the clubs in montana you don't get to hunt humans and that yeah, is exactly, that's our yeah. problem i guess there's... i mean anyone can look this up but there's photos all over the internet of don jr hunting a uh, big game in africa endangered species he seems to uh feel uh like he needs to overcompensate for maybe not uh, living up to something by exerting his masculinity in a way where he can go after uh, trapped animals this with is, a big gun and shoot these This is the classic rich New Yorker thing to do, all the way from uh, Teddy Roosevelt, who went out to the same part of the country and uh, killed a bunch of animals. Although, to be fair to Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, he actually got involved into duels and I think probably did more serious hard hunting than uh, Donald Trump Jr. has ever done. And all the way to uh, former NRA uh, leader Wayne LaPierre, who, you know, the, the New Yorker covered um, having gone to on a, on a <clears throat> big game hunt to ba and basically brutally murdered an elephant because he actually did not know how to kill it properly oh, of so course. they basically just helped him shoot and kill a like maimed suffering ele are so elephant in order to basically get the photo op of having a sort of trophy from that yeah experience. these are soft little babies with hands that have never had calluses who want to look like they uh they they are actually big men it's and it's it's, it's sad um and he, he seems he seems sad a little bit his eyes are, eyes a, little are a little droopy, droopy yeah. yeah that's weird Maybe position the camera a little bit higher um let's do some ims while you pick out a uh sound clip for sure. us uh wisco disco maybe this is all part of the joke uh these are the people on the 8 p.m the, i mean the, the beginning dave from jamaica i don't trust y'all i'll be on guard for april fools there's no way for me to introduce the show on april fools when we're not having an april fool show that doesn't sound like it's a um an april fools setup i'm sorry it's just there's no way um Serious business. I'm very disappointed that this isn't an April Fool's joke where the Giannis interview is instead replaced with an interview H. John Benjamin pretending to be Giannis Ver Varoufakis. Uh, I will settle for the Giannis interview. Um, that would have been actually pretty funny. Uh, number 13. I really like the New York Times article discussing how the Israeli government is suppressing protests from the hostage fan. Oh, wait. It's actually the another article about secondhand accounts of rape on, on October 7th. Yeah.